think my husband is going to survive the summer. It looked much better this morning when I watered. Eh, it's not looking good at all. Neither is the, oh, chayote. I think it would have weathered it better if it wasn't a comfortable temperature. It was high 70s, low 80s, up until yesterday. It was just too hot too quick. If they could have done a slow climb, I think things would have survived better. If you want to make sure you get true seeds, you start out with true seeds. And what you can do is take a piece of masking tape and take the very end of your female blossom and the very end of your male blossom. Wait until they start to open. With the tape on them, they can't open all the way. Take scissors and cut the very, very end with the masking tape off of the female. And then take the male, peel all the flower off, and pollinate the female. And then tape her shut again before any bees can get to her. This way, no bees have gotten to her with some other pollen. And no bees have gotten to this to mess up that's pollen. And then you'll have a true seed stock. Well, it looks like I lost both rose bushes in that heat spell. But I do have a potato growing. I must have missed an eye. Yeah. Looks like the potatoes rotted out too. It's a big hollow hole down there. Yep. Well, I guess I should plant the potato now. Well, I moved them outside because it's so dark in the house. They weren't doing anything. But isn't that weird? The roots grow up. But it's doing something. Not much. I wonder if you can plant sweet potatoes for a winter crop. Now that's frustrating. That is a white fleshed dragon fruit. And now it wants to bloom. It's got quite a bit of plant going on up there. I need to pull it out. But I have no red fleshed blooming. They are all done as far as I know. And they both need to bloom at the same time and be pollinated by whatever pollinates them in the middle of the night. It has to be a moth. That's about all that flies around at night. So, no white fleshed dragon fruit again. This is the 5th of July morning. After the 4th of July evening, this is the first critter I have seen. No humans, no critters, but lots and lots of cars. I guess all those fireworks scared them all off. Well, it's July 5th, 5.15 in the morning, and that's the only brave soul that's been able to come out after all that excitement, all those fireworks, all those firecrackers. Wow, brave soul.